Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the condenser fan blade on your refrigerator. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to pull the refrigerator far enough forward that we can access the lower access panel at the back of the refrigerator. So the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect the power. You can either do that when you pull the refrigerator forward, just unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse and carefully move the refrigerator forward so they can gain access to the back. Now next we'll remove that lower access panel. On this model there are three screws across the top and two more across the bottom that we need to remove. They're all number two Phillips screws. Now with the screws removed, simply lift up on that panel to disengage the tabs on the bottom and we'll set that aside. Now with the back panel removed, we now have access to that fan blade. If it's still intact on the motor shaft, we'll need to remove it. Now to do so safely, we suggest that you take either a regular pair of slip joint pliers or a pair of lean lowers pliers, and then we'll straddle that motor shaft and just slide those pliers in that space. Then using a flat blade screwdriver, we'll fit that in between the back end of that hub of the fan blade and the pliers, and then pry that blade off. This way we don't put any undue stress on the motor shaft. Just pop that old blade off of there. And we can discard that, inspect the New replacement blade, make sure there's been no damage to it. Ensure that the retaining spring is attached to the front. Now before we install that blade, we'll check the motor shaft, make sure that there is no residual from the compound that we used to seal that old blade on there. So we'll clean that off. And if you wish, you can use a non-permanent thread locker or something as simple as an instant glue. Just put a few drops on that shaft, and then we can reinstall the blade. We'll put it on with the closed portion of that hub facing the motor. Simply press it firmly under that shaft. You'll need to support the fan motor so that we don't damage the bracket. Push it firmly on until it's, that blade is about centered with the mounting bracket. Just spin it a few times, make sure it's not interfering with any of the other components. And then we're ready to put the back panel on. Now when installing that back panel, we want to make sure that the tabs in the center and the left hand side fit over those two prongs that protrude from the base. Sure that the water lines are not compromised or the line cord. Then line up the screw holes. Now we're ready to line the refrigerator back up to push into the cabinets. We're now ready to push the refrigerator back into place, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.